Well, good morning, my fellow brothers who are retaining their seed, becoming souls of light and love. I greet you this morning, my brothers, and I have a new, not a new subject, but I want to talk about something. I'll give you my commentary of what I observe around me in society, and that's this concept of worldly versus godly or light versus dark. So I've made past videos about the matrix being the world and the world is Satan's world. And I made a video about how scripture talks about the world is Satan's. It was given to him to rule and there's scripture backing that. And I've got to go through and find that video, you guys. I've made so many videos. Now it's hard for me to locate some of these subjects, but I'm going to attempt to put that in the description when I find it. But that's not the topic. The topic is worldly versus godly. And, you know, we're born into this world cursed because of the Adam and Eve story in Genesis. So... It's Satan's matrix. We are born into the world with a cursed soul. And we are going to be, our path is, our future is eternal damnation because of that original sin against God. But the light of the world, which is Jesus, gives us the opportunity for, for redemption and our souls to live forever in eternity with him. And so... As we're in the world, it's temporary. Our souls are in the world, in the body, the physical body, which you know is going to die. There's no question about that. You see people dying every day. So then our souls will leave. The question is, where does your soul go? As a Christian, we and the ones that have believed in Jesus, they will, your soul will live eternal with our Lord. And we already made videos about that it doesn't require any works. It just requires faith because the grace that God gave you and the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross is enough. So it's your faith that you believe that you will be redeemed. But we're going to talk about worldly versus godly. So I'm 53 years old and what I've seen growing up is th things of the world. We want material things. We want to be rich. People pursue careers to get things. The media, TV, movies. I don't want to use the word brainwash, but I'm trying to think of a better word. Uh, influence you to desire things of the world, which is... Sex, money, power, those three words sum up a lot of things. Sex, money, power. And so you spend your whole life consuming the food they advertise, the fast food. The Even when you go to the grocery store, all of the prepackaged food by corporations. And corporations are part of the matrix, guys, to control us. And same thing with the pharmaceutical industry and all the drugs we take. And I've, look, I've been in that world growing up, eating that food, consuming the media, the movies, uh, desiring to be rich, pursuing power, sex, uh, money, drugs. I have been in the world most of my life. So I'm not judging anyone. I'm just now seeing the light which is godly versus worldly, which what we'll talk about. But so we're in the world and we're surrounded by it. So it so it's hard not to to be part of it. But when you receive a calling as a chosen one, like I made in the prior video from God, he calls you and I believe I was called many years ago, but yet I still was living in sin and in darkness. And 
it finally took the last experience of my ex to realize that, hey, I needed to be godly, not worldly. So let's discuss what is godly versus worldly. And I just, I made a video a long, about six months ago, said you are not of this world. And at that time I was trying to get my audio improved. And so the audio is very poor on this video. I was using a Bluetooth headset that really didn't work. So you're going to, if you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description, but you're going to have to turn up the volume a lot. But I want to discuss what is worldly versus godly from scripture, guys. So here's that video. It's called You Are Not of the World on Semen Retention, and I will link it in the video. Um, but guys, let's turn to scripture. Uh, as a Christian, we believe and we pursue godliness for versus worldliness. Now, not all Christians are godly. There's a lot of, and I was one of them, a lot of people that are, oh, I'm a Christian. I go to church. I, you know, I, like me, went to church. My parents took us our whole life. I went to Catholic schools. I've read the Bible many times. I was in religion classes, small groups at church, Bible study groups, but yet still living in darkness. So there's just a few chosen elect that decide to come out of the darkness and be godly. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So let's go to 1 John 2. 1. 1 John chapter 2, guys. Let's go to verse 15. It says, Do not love the world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming. So now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, and it might become plain that they are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. So you see, guys... You have been called. There's very few that have been anointed, and you know what the difference is. When it says it is the last hour, it means the end of the world is coming. Now, someone that lived 300 years ago, they already died, but in God's eyes, a thousand years is a blink of an eye. So we really don't know when that is coming. Only the Father knows. But let's go to... Uh, chapter 5, verse 19. We know that we are from God, and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. See, that verse just shows you that the world, the matrix, is Satan's world. The evil one is Satan, or Lucifer. The names are synonymous. What's cool about the Blue Letter Bible, guys, is you can highlight things. So if I want to highlight that verse, bam. Okay, let's turn, let's go to the other book of John. There is two books of John. For, let's go to chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in believes in him should not perish but have eternal life for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but in order that he would might be in order that the world might be saved through him see that's how beautiful God is he loved 
He loves the souls he created. <clears throat> and he loved us so much that he sent Jesus Christ down to pay for our curse, to pay for the sin Adam and Eve did that cursed mankind. So Jesus is the light of the world. He's the path to redemption. God loved us so much he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. There is the basis of your salvation, guys. It doesn't require works. It just requires your belief. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world and people loved the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. Do you see, guys, the light and the dark? For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light lest his works should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. Do you see, guys, it's the light and the dark. And I just recently realized that I need to come into the light and stop living in the dark. And that is putting away the lust. Semen retention is your calling to come into the light but it's not just retaining your seed and being celibate guys we already talked about the other seven pillars of darkness lust envy murder sloth gluttony pride wrath so you have to those are all pillars of darkness guys so you got to overcome those to come into the light. But yet you're still saved by your belief in Jesus. Verse 16 through 21. So if you want to highlight, you can select these verses. Use the slider. Hit highlight. Okay. John, that was John 3. Let's go to John chapter 16. Verse 33. Behold, the hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, but the Father is with me. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So Jesus overcame the world, and so you will too by coming into the light and believing in him, guys. Okay, how about John 18, verse 36? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I may not be delivered over to the Jews, but my kingdom is not from the world. You see, the world is Satan's world, and it's temporary. It's going to end. Our bodies are going to die. The world's going to be destroyed. It all is coming to an end. But through Jesus, we have the victory, guys. Now, let's go to Colossians 3, chapter 3, verse 2. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. The earth is the world, the matrix. So, you see, guys, the difference between the world and the light and the dark. One last verse, Romans 12. Verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, 
that by testing you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. So that's what happens when you come out of the darkness into the light. You're transformed by the renewal of your mind and you see the worldly versus the godly. Do you want to live godly, which is truly righteous and holy and living in the light? Or do you want to live in the darkness in the world? Guys, I hope that kind of clarified worldly versus godly, dark versus light. And semen retention is one step in becoming a soul of light and love. But there's other pillars of darkness to overcome, which are darkness of the world, guys. Guys, you have a great weekend, a great 4th of July if I don't talk to you. I know that's an American holiday. But uh, hey, have a great weekend anyway to my brothers around the world. And let's continue to strive to be souls of light and love. Talk to you later.